What's up guys, Alan's here, and today I got a movie review for you. And I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And to celebrate my Christmas, I'm wearing this Stormtrooper Christmas shirt. Best way to celebrate my movie review. And I'm referring to Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. The final movie installment of the Luke Skywalker General Trilogy. Like the whole Skywalker idea. So, and this is directed by J.J. Abrams, of course, the one who directed Force Awakens and other films. And I'm very glad he's directing this again. And here are my thoughts in general about this new film that is coming out December 19th at midnight in theaters, but everywhere else December 20th. And it's the film that we all wanted to see for quite a while. And... The good question is, does this really give a love hearted end to the whole trilogy? Or does it have a dark side that really makes us hate this film more than The Last Jedi and the other films? Well, without further ado, without the computer, let's review. The whole synopsis is that Emperor Palpatine arrives and takes his place as the Emperor and has made the Empire more terrifying than ever. Meanwhile, Rey finally masters the way of the Force, finally, and it's up to Rey and the whole gang as they come back together to finally defeat Palpatine once and for all and spread peace and freedom all over the galaxy. And the good question is, does this film really portray that? Well, my answer is this, yes. I think this film has a good ending to the whole trilogy. There's no, like, this is like, like Game of Thrones ending season eight, like the finale, like, this is not that ending. This is actually a pretty good to good ending. And here's why. The movie, of course, the cinematography, the editing and the music really makes this a nostalgia we kind of remember since back then. And there's a lot of action to make us more excited. And the story is very paced. There is at times that I feel like it's very unnecessary or like, can we just get to the part? Like, please, like, let's go. Like all of that, like kind of furiates me, but at the same time, like, it's okay, Alan, we'll get there eventually. But that's actually very minor in the film. Everything else, like, I was very pleased with. Like, I wasn't very, like, disappointed. And, of course, whoever, like, thank you guys for portraying the whole characters in the Star Wars trilogy. The ones who played as Rey, Kyran. Of course, Kyran's my favorite, act, like, character in the film. So, Adam Driver, who played as him, great job. But everyone else who played their character, played their part in this whole trilogy, Thank you guys. You truly made this a fun, enjoyable ride. And John Williams, you make this awesome music that really reminds me of back then. So thank you for the music. And JJ Abrams, I want to thank you for directing this film. And why I'm saying this? Because I know that JJ Abrams directed The Force Awakened, and that was the only movie in the trilogy that I actually enjoyed. But when he was directing this film again, I know he was gonna I knew he was gonna make some good story out of this final movie. And of course, Luke Skywalker and Leia and Palpatine are in this movie. Even though after something happened throughout the Star Wars franchise. But putting them in this final like Skywalker trilogy, it's the reason why we enjoyed this. And by the way, this is a spoiler free review so I'm not going really deep about what actually happens or like moments that I really like but this is just a general idea but I think just in general this movie did actually this is actually one of the great stars films I've seen even though Force Awaken was my favorite out of all and from episode 4 to episode 6 trilogy was my favorite without a question forget the prequels forget the disney like star wars version like d this episode four six was my favorite but i loved how 
episode 79 really made this enjoyable ride in its own way. And since George Lucas wasn't really involved in the Disney version, that's why it wasn't as good as the previous. But yeah, but I really hope that as more Star Wars films are going by, that the companies will actually listen to George Lucas more. Because he's the creator of Star Wars. He's truly what made its own fan base and everything. So, but the good news is we are getting Kyle Ren prequel coming soon. And of course, we have the Mandorian and other stuff that's coming soon. And I think it's slowly getting back to the nostalgia we all deserve. But episode 9, it's not going to disappoint you. Don't worry, for those that watched Last Jedi and was really pissed, trust me, I've been there with the whole, like, why are there WTFs in the film? Like, this is not the film I imagined. Like, why? Don't worry. With this film, you're not going to be disappointed. For my final review score, I am giving this a 8.0 out of 10. A great way to end the whole Skywalker trilogy. And yes! That, oh, just before I uh, conclude, I want to mention this really quick. I love the relationship between Kyle Ren and Rey. It's been noticeable since like the first and of course now it's obviously in the Last Jedi. But I like the relationship between Kyle Ren and Rey because they can be seen as protagonists versus antagonists. But at the same time, protagonists and protagonists as they're helping each other fight against the corruptedness and everything. Like, I love the relationship between you two. That's why I actually enjoy the new Star Wars uh, movie more. And yes, now I'm going to conclude. Thanks for watching. And are you excited to see the new movie on Thursday? Also, who is your favorite Star Wars character? Write down in the comments in the description below. And of course, if you like and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell, you help this channel a ton, making the sea super as always. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bring out your lightsabers and may the force be with you. And until next time, have a very fabinga Christmas.